But a uh, subject where I wanted to talk about for this episode was um, the Cody's League. A um, bit of explanation for you guys. Codemasters, developers of the F1 2013 game, um, they have basically a league created for, for their own. And this league basically, um, in this league there are uh, leagues racing. It's, it's hard to explain really. Um, in, in the competition that, that Codemasters have going on, there are eight um, leagues driving in there. And from every league, you have two drivers representing the league. Um, they have done it before with the PS3, uh, no, Xbox, I think it was Xbox. They have run a competition like that before on the Xbox, but it's coming to PC right now as well. Um, some, of, some of you guys may know it, but I have driven for AOR in the past, which, which was a league. And, oh, it's getting a bit busy here. Um, I've driven in uh, in AOR and ARL in the past, and actually, I'm going to participate in the in the Codemasters League re uh, representing AOR. And some of you guys might wonder right now, well, you, didn't you retire from F1? And yeah, you're absolutely right. I I indeed retired from F1, and I was I was completely done with the game for a while, which is really true. I I'm not, I didn't hate the game, but I just didn't like it anymore I couldn't play it anymore really um, but then I I heard this 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 Codemasters League and uh, I saw the opportunity and I said to myself well I can do this just just one more time okay I'm, I'm fine with that and um, I don't want to participate anymore in like a long championship worth 20 or so races I don't want that anymore I I do want however participate in the Codemasters League and that championship is only five races long I'm perfectly fine with that um, like five races I can do that but another like whole championship no I'm not interested in that but five races is fine so that's why I um, I uh, what's the, what's the what's the word here I said to AOR that I was able to, to drive for them if they wanted and uh, all the AOR members could vote for the two drivers which are going to represent the AOR in the Codemasters League and the two drivers who got the most votes were Alex and me Alex I think a lot of people will know him obviously my rival um, from that game and we both are going to uh, to participate in that league so we will see how it goes definitely videos of that coming up on my channel it starts on the 7th uh, no the 2nd of July uh, which is in a couple of days already and um, so I, I am looking forward to that um, it's just five races and uh, and that's it I can do that that's that's no problem but as I said a long championship again I'm not I'm not interested in that at the moment we're going a bit quick here I have to slow down a little bit but yeah again with Alex looking forward to it we'll see how it how it goes and obviously there are other leagues in there too, like very strong leagues too. Um, so we will see which leagues comes out on top. I think we have a pretty strong lineup with Alex. So we'll see what happens, you know. You need a little bit of luck as well. Without luck you won't get there. You need a little bit of luck on your side to, uh, to become the champion. But yeah, a little update on that. I think my, my channel... Um, the amount of subscribers I have right now, I can thank that. Thank I can I can thank uh, F1 2013 for that. Really, uh, I think there are speed cameras here, so we're gonna have to slow down. Yet yeah, there are there's indeed a speed camera here. I think the amount of subscribers I'm having right now is thanks to F1 2013. I mean, a lot of people subscribed on me thanks to that. And now I'm heading into a, into a different directions with the Formula Sim racing races. But uh, again, I'm, I'm getting back to, uh, to F1 2013 for a little while, and that's it really. And that's why I also wanted my pedals so bad, because then I could race those races with my new pedals, but that's not going to happen right now. Seems like we are going pretty quick, we are the whole time overtaking cars and obviously a few trucks which are driving on the, on the left lane. 
getting a bit dark here with the shadows and the sun. I think the sun is setting. Yeah, it's it's about five o'clock in the afternoon. Let's see. I think we're almost there. Three hours to go. Oh, still quite a bit to go. Actually, we're going to the northern part of Great Britain, so it will take a little while. And then we will buy the truck after this one, I think. Is this a Scania? I think so. Yep, that was a Scania. Saw it in the mirrors. Mirrors are pretty good in this game, I must say. They aren't too bad. Edinburgh. Bar straight. Okay. Let's go straight then. Whoa! A little bit of funky things happening with the force feedback there. That's a little bit annoying sometimes. I don't know really if that's a glitch. It's it's a little bit overpowered in my opinion, but sometimes when you go over a couple of bumps That suddenly kicks in a lot of force feedback for no apparent reason really and Sometimes a little bit annoying. I mean in this game. You're not like holding your wheel tight the whole time I mean sometimes I'm driving without hands like now and now I'm driving with one hand and that's basically the whole time how it goes and then you know when you have released your wheel or not paying a lot of attention and you suddenly have a bump and your force feedback goes crazy, you get a little bit scared that you're going to crash your truck. We're driving really quick here by the way. 128 kilometers an hour, 130 kilometers an hour. Yep. It's cool. There are no speed cameras here anyway. Sometimes when there are speed cameras coming up you see a sign alongside the road, but not always though. So. You do need to keep your eyes open. Whoa, look at that plane. You saw that? Oh, need to keep it on the road. Oh, brake. I hate these sections. Oh, yeah, good job, guys. There was ne no need for him to do that. And now we are stuck. That's why I hate these roads. You can barely overtake when uh, when you're driving in the afternoon or something like that because it's pretty busy on the road. So do we really have a goal though in, in this game like for the company? Ah, I don't know actually. Um, I think the goal in the game is just to get a big company, own a lot of garages um, in every city, have a lot of drivers working for you. I don't really know a goal which I can put up for myself as the shadows go a little bit funky there. There's also something which is sometimes pretty annoying, the inconsistency of the AI, they sometimes just break and then, oh, so it seems like someone's going to overtake. Interesting. Yeah, see, sometimes they just slam on the brakes and then take it on the throttle back again. Can be sometimes pretty annoying. Can I get past? I'm not gonna risk it. Risk it. There's a, there's a turn coming up. No, we are not allowed to overtake here anyway. Going uphill, you can scream. You can hear the engine screaming a little bit more. Someone again going for an overtake. That guy really wants to get on with it. I would like to do that as well, but the problem is, is that I have a 20 ton trailer behind me. <laughs> and not so many horsepower. Well, 600 horsepower is obviously a lot, but obviously the truck is pretty heavy too. Let's go. I don't see a car coming up at the moment. Oh, I think we're gonna have a no overtaking zone here. Yep. Please let me back in. Please let me slot back in. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, see? See that? That is so stupid sometimes. There's just no need for him to, to break that much. I mean... He was already driving like what? Maybe 50 kilometers an hour? Maybe less? And then he slows down even more. I can see why that's happening. Uh, I got lucky that I didn't have an uh, accident offense there though. Got pretty lucky there. No damage? Nope, no damage. Got lucky there. See, that is sometimes which is pretty annoying. Just the 
inconsistency. I think I've never driven on this road. I usually don't go to England because I don't like it. I don't like driving here. So we go into Scotland. Yep. So we see the sun there. I'm gonna have to pay attention to the road, however. Uh, can I overtake this guy? I think I can do it quickly. Yeah, there we go. Let's deal with that guy. And now we can finally get on with it a little bit more. Although there's already a truck in front. To break a little bit here. See, it's pretty fun to drive this quick. Oh! See that? That's what happens when you uh, when you go too quick in the corners. I've explained it, I think, in the previous episodes. When you sometimes go too quick in the corner uh, or a turn, the truck really wants to wants to flip over. And basically, sometimes you are driving on on the right hand side of the of the truck on the on the wheels on the right wheels, just because you're carrying so much speed. It's pretty funny though. I got lucky there though that nothing happened. But that's how easy you can lose it sometimes. Oh my god. Get on with it. 40 kilometers an hour. And you should be able to make these turns with at least 60 kilometers an hour, I think. <laughs> he slows down even more. Right, there we go. I'm good to overtake now. I think there's no one coming up. Let's have a little look again. Nope, no one's coming up. Let's go then. And slot back in. Exactly on time. There was traffic coming up and the no overtaking zone. So, that was good timing. Let's turn the lights on a little bit. The dash lights. Uh, you have two light modes, uh, well actually three, you have off, and you have uh, uh, mode one, which turns on the dashboard, and also exterior lights, but they are not really bright, and then when you press it again, oh, this is mode two, they are on, and then, I forgot to mention this, but you actually have four modes then, because mode three is the headlights, and mode zero then is, is off, I guess. Well, it's not dark enough to uh, to go to mode two, so we will keep it at mode one just to light up the outside of our truck a little bit with LED lights, LED lights, and light up the dashboard too. So we are getting stuck behind this guy, but I think we are almost there. Yeah, just under an hour to go. So let's see. Looked clear to me. It looks like it. Let's go. Oh. Does he have a passenger or is it just an English truck? I don't know. There was someone on the right hand side there. Usually, actually that, that that's what I noticed, is that you saw a lot of army uh, trailers, like that one. That's definitely not, uh, I think it was an army trailer. but. When I was playing this on my own without a let's play, you know, uh, on my other profile, I saw a lot of army trailers, like a lot of tanks and um, helicopters. I'm not seeing them so much at the moment in this uh, let's play at the moment. Whoa. Was it my illusion or was that truck going really quick up that hill there? Oh, might have been. Not sure. He might have done that. I presume half an hour to go. Yeah, just under. Finally, we get another move on with two lanes. It's much better than one, obviously. Uh, driving so much faster with with two lanes, at least. Obviously, three is best. But you cannot always get what you want. So for feedback, I again really weird there. It happens in these sections here, usually. Oh! Oh, I thought I had to go to the left there, but the set nav says go straight on. Okay, we need to go to the right here. Speed cameras, slow down. 80 kilometers an hour. There we go. Should be fine.
And we will make that turn perfectly fine. So almost there. I think we uh, need to do deliver this further to DHL. Yes, indeed. Acid. 30 miles an hour. About 50 kilometers an hour, I think. Yeah, it is 50 kilometers an hour. Now you need to do a little bit of calculating, but it's easy, obviously. I mean, when 60 miles an hour is 100 kilometers an hour, then that means that 30 miles an hour is then 50 miles uh, kilometers an hour, obviously. Give way. Okay. Seems like we are going to let him by, and then we can join this roundabout. Careful with the trailer. There we go. What's he delivering? Like a graver. Turn around and then we're there. I'm going to finish my recording session already and then uh, just have a look at the feedback from you guys. I'm really interested in, in your opinion. What do you guys think of this let's play so far? Just gonna have a look at the, f uh, at the feedback before I make any more videos, put more effort into it. Well, it could be possible that you guys aren't even enjoying it. I mean, that's just a waste of time then, obviously. And this seems to be good. So we will press T and that's not a delivery done. Excellent. So 4,000 euros, not bad at all. And there we go, level four too. And still a newbie. Fine, level 4 at least, which is good. Um, then we will do another HD uh, or ADR upgrade. Class, uh, what is it? Class 4. Flammable solids. Flammable solids easily ignited. Nitrocellulose? Nitrocellulose. Oh <laughs> wow. Uh, that's very hard to me <laughs> for me to pronounce. <laughs> um, anyway, I think that's it. Next episode we will buy... Um, ourselves a truck then if there comes a next episode obviously um, because uh, it all depends on, on your feedback whether you guys are enjoying it if you are enjoying it however I would really appreciate the like and uh, I hope to see you guys next time with another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2 thank you guys for watching and see you next time goodbye